G'day, this is Gary007 and welcome to my channel. So, we're looking at Hunter Pre-Raid Best in Slot and where you can get these items from. So we'll go through each item. Most of the gear straight off the bat is going to be your Beast Lord set. There are other items in here that we're going to have a look at, but I'm also going to tell you where you can pick these up from so you get a bit of an understanding. If you're looking at it and you haven't played TBC in a while, I'll show you where you can pick these items up from, okay? So then it gives you a bit of an idea where you need to go. Uh, first item is your head slot, the Beast Lord set. Uh, 21 stamina, uh, 25 agility, 22 intellect. It has a meta socket, it has a red socket, and it, has, it increases your attack power by 50. What you want to slot the meta socket with would be 24 attack power and increase minor run speed. Now this item can be found out in a mecha. Now it is a 16% drop chance. The next item is the choker of the vile intent. 18 stamina, 20 agility, increases your hit rating by 18, increases your attack by 42. Now this item is a vendor item, badges of justice. They're given to you these badges of justice whenever you run a heroic. Plus you have dailies, so don't forget about dailies. You'll have dailies that you can do in TBC, which will give you an extra couple more badges of justice if you run a particular dungeon. So that is the best uh, pre-ray bested slot, this choker of vile intent. It's a really, really awesome one. The next item is your Beast Lord Mantle Shoulder Piece. 12 Intellect, 25 Agility. It's got a yellow socket, it has a red socket. Bonus socket would be plus 4 to Stamina. Increases your attack power by 34. Restores 5 mana per 5 seconds. Uh, it's, the mana is it's really not that great, but whatever. <laughs> so the yellow socket, you'd probably want to put hit rating in there and for agility so you'll get uh, four hit rating and four agility for the, the yellow one and in the red one you'll probably put eight agility again now these this this shoulder piece can be found out of steam vaults which is pretty awesome so that's your pre-ray best in slot shoulder which would be the best lord, uh, beast lord one i've had a enhancement shaman roll on that against me and win it so <laughs> um there are other classes that might roll against you, even though it's a hunter item. Just beware that other classes are going to roll against you. And just practice self-control and just bite your tongue. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, your next piece is um, the Vengeance Wrap. So this is a tailoring BOE item, back piece, and it has a red socket. Red socket, you'd probably put 8 agility in it again. So this improves your critical strike rating by 23, increases your attack power by 52. Now this is pre-raid best in slot your back piece. I'll give you another option, right? So there are other options where you, you've got loot drops throughout dungeons and stuff, but there's the Blood Knight War Cloak. Now this has got 22 stamina, 23 agility, increases your attack power by 48. This is another Badges of Justice, 25 Badges of Justice that you can get from the vendor in Shatrat City when you run Heroics. So why I suggest this one is that the Badges of Justice, it's a cheaper option when you're putting your gear together. So this is a, like an alternative. The only downside to this back piece is it doesn't have hit rating. However, when you go into Kara, there is a back piece that you'll be able to pick up rather quickly that has hit rating on it. So for the chest piece for a hunter, Primal Strike Vest. So the Primal Strike set starts to come into play for the Hunter. Now this is this is a leather working item. The stats are 39 stamina, 38 agility, really awesome. Increases your hit rating by 12, which is good, really good. And it increases your attack power by 108. It's awesome. Now this also has a three set bonus. Get the braces, the vest, and the belt increases your attack power by 40 which is pretty awesome now it requires elemental leather working if you are not going to be a leather worker and on your hunter for whatever reason it is the next best item that you can get would be your beast lord chest piece the next one that you can get chest guard of the prowler now the chest guard of the prowler is a uh, stamina 26 stamina 31 agility increases your hit rating by 17 increases your attack power by 70 and it's got increased your parry rating by 16 your parry rating doesn't mean anything but this item can get you can get out of uh, heroic ramparts right so heroic ramparts is one of the easier heroics to do 
and it's not a bad chess piece if you don't go down the leather working route if you know what I mean so if you decide not to do leather working you can pick chess guard of the prowler out of ramparts heroic so it's completely up to you if you want to do it that way the next best in slot item pre-raid best in slot is your primal strike braces again like we talked about previously about the chess piece you'll need to be 375 leather working so this one gives you 21 stamina 15 agility increases your attack power by 64 this is really really good the next best sort of item that I suggest you could go for would be old Hillsbury foothills heroic increases your stamina by 22 agility by 24 increases your attack power by 46 again if you choose not to go down the route of leather working for whatever reason to get your primal strike braces now the primal strike gear is pretty awesome I have to admit it it's really really good uh, your next best in slot item is your hands, which is your Beast Lord hand guards. 12 stamina, 17 intellect, 25 agility. It's got a red socket and it's got a blue socket. Matching sockets will give you a bonus of 3 plus 3 to hit rating. Nothing to be laughed at because you're always trying to get that hit rating. Uh, that 9% hit rating and increases your attack power by 34. So again, the red socket you would put 8 agility into it and the blue socket you can put 4 agility plus six stamina and they come out as shattered halls uh 60 percent drop chance uh to get these hands so make sure you don't run with an enhancement shaman next best in slot item is your primal strike belt it has 32 stamina 20 agility this is again a uh, leather working item increases your attack power by 84 so once you have the full set you'll have an extra 40 attack power nothing to be laughed at it is a really good three piece set bonus if you've gone leather working so it's very hard to try and find something that's going to replace that the other one that i've got listed here comes out of black morris bm heroic now this is a really hard dungeon like if you don't have a good group to go into and the dps to go into it you don't have a good tank you need a good tank you need a really good healer and you need decent dps to do this heroic yeah it's just tough it's a tough dungeon to do but if you get a good group or some guildies together, you'll be able to pull it off. And it's quite rewarding to go in there. It drops the girdle of the death dealer. It has 28 stam, 28 agility, increases your hit rating by 20, which is awesome. And increases your attack power by 56. Oh, good luck trying to get a good group going into there. Sometimes it's sometimes it's really good and sometimes it's just, just awful. <laughs> you walk away with nothing. Anyway, your next best in slot item is your Beast Lord uh, Leggings, which comes out of Steam Vaults, 16% chance to drop. So there's a couple of items that come out of Steam Vaults, your shoulders and your legs. Again, don't run with an Elemental Shaman, they'll probably take it from you. <laughs> uh, 25 Stamina, 19 Intellect, 30 Agility, increases your attack bar by 52, restores a little bit of mana, which is... Eh, okay i suppose and especially in the long fights that you do in kara uh, so once you get your four set bonus piece you probably want all five pieces of the beast lord set straight up you want to get all five uh, you just don't want to get the four because later on when you go into kara it gives you the ability to swap out a few, one or two pieces you might want to swap out some leg pieces and that you get out of kara so that you'll be able to put your chest piece on your beast lord chest piece even though it's a little bit like it's half the dps like it's really it's not great but at least you get that four set bonus and that four set bonus is what you want to keep right till tier five it's just the best you know each time you use your kill command ability in tbc when you use your kill command you've got it macroed so you're doing that's where your steady shot macro comes into it and every time your kill command ability um, goes off your attacks in north 600 or your victim's armor 15 seconds that's huge that's like a four percent increase in dps right there right depending on the armor values that are introduced into tbc so just off the bat you, you cannot ignore it so your next item is your, your foul leather boots so these leather boots so 350 level working bind on equip foul leather boots it's got one yellow socket and one red socket uh, socket of bonus is plus six attack power improves your critical strike rating by 17 increases your hit rating by 25 and increases your attack power by 36 so the socketed item that you probably want to put in the yellow yellow slot is four hit rating and four agility and of course the red is agility 
If you fail to go down this route of leatherworking, you can, of course, go into Alcatraz. Now, Alcatraz has a pair of boots in there. It has 30 stamina, 31 agility, and increases your attack power by 54. Now, it doesn't have hit rating on it. It's okay, so you can get this out of Alcatraz. It's an it's another option for you when you're trying to gear out your character. Now Alcatraz is not too bad uh, when you go in there. It's a lot more high level dungeon, however um, everybody would be reasonably geared going into from classic to TBC. So there'll be a lot of geared players going into this sort of these sort of dungeons, so you shouldn't have an issue going in there. It's a 25% uh, chance drop rate in Alcatraz. Next item, 15 stamina, 20 agility, increases your hit rating by 13, increases attack power by 30. This one comes out of Sheka Halls, comes off the Talon King, 70% uh, drop chance. It's an easy drop chance to get this ring, so it's not too bad. The next ring is your Slayer's Mark of Redemption, and this is a quest reward item. So this item, that discussion among the ranks, Shadow Moon Valley is where you're going to go and do this quest. The next item, of course, is the trinket. So the Bloodlust trinket is a Badges of Justice, 41 uh, Badges of Justice to try and get. So this is a really, really good trinket, a really solid trinket. Increases your attack power by 72 incre and increases attack power by 278 for 20 seconds. This is a awesome <laughs> trinket. So do your heroics, get that out of the way, get your badges of justice. This should be the first badges of justice that you spend is the 41 on your Bloodlust Broke. It will be your best in slot for a little while as well as your progress through content. The next one, the Hourglass of the Unraveler. Out of Black Moss, this trinket is awesome. Incre improves your critical strike by 32. So every time you crit, it has a chance to proc your attack power by 300 for 10 seconds. This hourglass is going to be, it's going to be hard to get, I'm going to be honest. It's not, a, it's got a 7% drop chance. Of course it comes out of BM and some people have difficulty even running the normal BM. Good luck trying to get this, you're going to be fighting every other class to try and get this. I've had other classes take it from me that couldn't use it. <laughs> And of course I've apologised but yeah, this is a really good trinket so good luck on the grind for this one. Now the next one is your weapon slot. So your weapon slot is your Sonic Spear. It comes out of Shadow Labyrinth. Now the Sonic Spear is 30 stamina, 35 agility, increases your hit, hit rating by 24, increases your attack power by 62 bit of a funny run too depending on who you run that with uh, last boss can be a bit of a pain if people don't know what they're doing 60% uh, chance of drop rate so yeah this is your pre-ray best in slot item the next item that I want to show you is the blackened spear now this is a reputation you get out of thrall mail so when you first enter outlands once you get revered you can pick this particular spear up now this blackened spear looks a lot better anyway in my opinion 26 agility uh, increases your hit rating by 19 increases your attack power by 92 so the only thing it really lacks pretty much is it has a little bit less hit rating it has a little bit more attack power but you don't have stamina on this particular spear however it looks a lot better so i like that spear a lot more now the next item they're going to look at the very last item is the bow now the marksman bow is a reputation thing from thrall as well so once you get exalted you'll be able to equip this epic bow and it is a awesome bow uh 73.8 de uh, damage per second it's a 2.8 attack speed which is pretty cool increases your hit rating by 11 increases your attack power by 22. this is a awesome bow so your other option is your Valonos Longbow. Now this is a world drop auction house item that you'll be able to pick up. What it goes for in auction house, who knows. It could go for 400 gold. Uh, you might have a guildie that picks it up and gives it to you. I got one. I had a guildie that, get, that gave me this bow for free. They just had an auction house. So really depends on what your situation is when it comes to gold. Because you really want to be trying to get your flying mount. I wouldn't be trying to spend 
gold on something like this. The other bow I want to mention is the Rathtai Longbow. Now the Rathtai Longbow comes out of Steam Vaults Heroic. Now it's not too bad to do a Heroic Steam Vault. So you'll be running it a lot until your eyes bleed anyway because you'll be trying to pick up a couple of items out of there. Rathtai Longbow uh, has a similar DPS, 75.5. It has a uh, slower speed, three, 3 seconds speed, plus 14 agility, increases your attack power by 28. It's probably a really, really good bow too. It looks awful though. Oh, it looks awful. <laughs> Looks like you're, um, you're holding a crab. However, I would rely on this dropping. It's only got like a 3% drop chance to drop out of um, Steam Vault. However, in saying that, I got my Season 2 Gladiator bow, which I ground out 27,000 honor for. 40 AV marks. And I got the bow finally. It's really, a, really awesome because I replaced my Valus longbow, which a guildie gave to me. I got, the, got my Gladiator bow, which I was really happy for. It took me a while to grind out. And then this bow out of Steam Vault's heroic dropped, which I, I rolled the need on it anyway. I got it, and I was really pissed off because <laughs> I'd spent so much time grinding this Gladiator bow out. And then I walked into Kara, and of course your next best in slot item is a bow out of Kara. And it comes off the last boss, and I got that. Get your throw mole. You'll get exalted with them. It's your best bow. Go for it. That is a hunter in a nutshell. Pre-raid best of slot items. Best of luck in getting them. Bye.